virtual reality is very close to commercialization now. And what we see today are things that are just details, like the frame rates are still a little too slow for human perception, and the field of view is not quite as wide as human perception allows. But all of that is going to be solved very soon, and the current state of the technology is, is very compelling right now. Virtual reality is about generating completely synthetically generated worlds with computer graphics. And so these are worlds that we, we, are, we are able to navigate first visually and eventually haptically, you know, in sensing the environment. And so that is, that is virtual reality. The most obvious first application for virtual reality is immersive games. When you add that full immersive experience to a game, it lets you suspend disbelief and become part of this virtual world. In applications, we see them already. Gaming, large amount of, uh, of people are now immersing themselves in virtual reality gaming. Education will benefit from that and many other things. So it's clear, virtual reality is here to stay and will continue to improve. Another really powerful virtual reality application is for education purposes, where you can use computers to simulate internal processes of the human body, for example, or other kinds of systems that are hard to observe in real life. But you can use computer simulations to dive in and explore those things as if you were part of the system. I think that uh, the entertainment industry is going to have a, an amazing uh, evolution in the way that we, we, we see movies and we see other uh, entertainment, um, uh, amusement parks for instance, will be completely virtualized and not only we will have visual uh, virtual reality but we will actually feel the environment as well. I can imagine a future when it's possible for virtual reality systems to read the user's emotions and responses to what's being presented to them and dynamically change it on the fly to sort of maximize the engagement and the experience of the user. So you could imagine like fantasy football teams that don't even really exist but that are changing and creating such exciting games that people are just fully engaged and just loving it.